O2Exercise.com Regeneration Anti-aging Healing Equals happiness Ewok drives high amounts of oxygen into your brain and into your body by supersaturating the plasma and the red blood cells. The ultimate guide to Ewok is your personal guide to vitality right out of your own mind. O2Exercise.com, supplying all of your EWAT needs. O2Exercise.com, knowledge, science, and clinical experience. What if there was a way that you could increase your level of fitness, only seen by people taking drugs like EPO, or even growth hormone? What if there was a natural way that you could turn the physiology in your body in your direction, something that could last you a long time and you wouldn't have to subject yourself to these dangerous drugs. Hi, I'm Dr. John Lawrence, and you might know me from my website o2exercise.com and I've written manuals on various types of oxygen treatments and today I'd like to talk to you about something very special, something called oxygen contrast training. Let's take a look at that. Welcome to my oxygen room. In this room we've got hyperbaric oxygen and we've got a special setup here called oxygen contrast training. And I'd like to share that with you today and talk to you about some of the amazing health benefits that even you, out of your own home, or if you're a physician, something that you could have your patients do just out of your office. So what is oxygen contrast training? Well, oxygen contrast training is actually when you're working out in a high oxygen environment and you switch to a low oxygen environment. When that happens your body goes and starts to change some physiology which will make it extract and utilize the maximum amount of oxygen that you're breathing. And what that means to you is that your body goes into this um, ultra efficient uh, route of oxygen utilization and then when you switch to the high oxygen from the low oxygen, your body basically just floods itself with oxygen. So there's a couple of things that happen within this whole cascade of events. Number one is that your body becomes much more efficient at oxygen utilization by being exposed to low oxygen content. The human growth hormone and the HGH, we've done some studies and we found that some patients actually go with their HGH levels going up as high as 500 percent with oxygen contrast training. And we believe that this is because the brief periods of hypoglycemic trigger the pituitary gland to basically dump human growth hormone, which is exciting because growth hormone now costs a fortune. I remember uh, 10 years ago it wasn't quite as expensive as it is now, but it's just astronomically expensive to be on this, uh, this hormone. And the other uh, downside to actually taking these hormones versus getting your body to produce it naturally is that your body will actually start to shut down its own production when you give the hormone exogenously. And so you're always going to want to favor stimulating your body to produce its own hormones. Another really key hormone that's been looked at with the contrast oxygen training is erythropoietin, which is e also called EPO. And this drug is something that is banned with all athletic activities because its ability to increase your body's production of red blood cells. And as we know, red blood cells are what carry this vital oxygen through your body. So by increasing the, the number of red blood cells in your uh, blood, you're able to increase the efficiency of your body to carry oxygen. I'd just like to share my own personal experience with oxygen contrast training. When I first started utilizing this, uh, this technology, um, I would work out with a high oxygen and when I switched to the low oxygen, I found that my um, pulse ox, and when we have you work out, you, you, you have a pulse ox where you can actually see the content of your oxygen. So my pulse ox went from 100% and I switched to the low oxygen and it went all the way down to 85%. It was definitely an uncomfortable feeling, you know, your, your respiration kicks up and you're, you're kind of feeling a little bit of discomfort. Then you switch to the high oxygen and of course it rebounds right back up to 100. But what was interesting and what I've also seen with all of my patients is that 
people that go down to the 80s after a few treatments with the contrast oxygen training they will not go down as low as they were before and so what that tells me is that the body is becoming much more efficient in a low oxygen situation which would also suggest that in a normal oxygen situation your body's also utilizing a lot more of that oxygen that it would otherwise not utilize. So here's what makes the uh, system unique is this is a uh, tubing that goes to the mask and like I said historically we would have a very small tubing that is generally what comes off of oxygen concentrators and so this larger tubing is much more efficient at getting a very high stream of oxygen to an individual that's exercising and with this mask application you're able to breathe in a um, sufficient amount of oxygen to maintain what Van Arden was looking for with his studies and all of the benefits that you'll see with uh, exercise with oxygen. Now this is one of the uh, things that makes the contrast oxygen training um, unique is this switch that allows you to switch from low oxygen to high oxygen and what you see in this uh, reservoir attachment here is you see when you we switch between the low oxygen and the high oxygen and this will dictate which reservoir you're actually breathing from o2exercise.com supplying all of your EWAT needs. For information on EWAT packages, either call, click, or email us. O2exercise.com. Knowledge, science, and clinical experience.